Hello everybody, my name is Light of Hand and today I will be doing an unboxing of Necromunda's Van Sargang Fry Games Workshop and Citadel Miniatures but I will also be taking a quick look at their card pack as well So guys, I'm going to quickly take the clean film off, give me a second and I'll be back So yep, it's taking a bit of time to get this off Right, so let's take a quick quick look at the front now, whoever does the painting for them does an amazing job, really. I've always, I've always said that about Games Workshop, anyway. So let's come back out. Let's turn it around. So yeah, let's look how good that detail is, like the face and so on. So you got the champion. I'm assuming that's the, no, that's the leader. Sorry, that's the leader. Got the champion model, slash another champion model up there because that would be the heavy. And then you've got the gangers. Well, let's take a look on the inside and let's see what you get. All good, they've got the lovely instruction book. Always happy to see that. Okay, obviously at the front it tells you what you need to actually build it. Let's have a quick look on the inside. So you've got, I'm not sure if you've got different op um, options, but it just shows you how to build certain models. Tells you her which bodies to use and so on. Now I'm hoping the heavy, like the Van Saar one, comes with a heavy stubber. Well, I don't think it does. Uh, where's the how to build the heavy? Let's have a look. I don't see the model for the heavy. Oh, there's the heavy. Does it come with another option? Not. Sh doesn't look like it does. So I'll probably be uh, buying a, an upgrade pack from. Uh, forge world at some point, not at this minute. Okay, so these, oh, we'll have a look at them in a second. Oh, there's more stuff inside my, oh, there's more stands. Did my stand packet open or something? Okay, so we've got a pack of stands and I've got a spare one. We've also got these, these shields. They do look cool. There are two sprues, I don't think they're the same. And there's a hell of a lot of stuff on them guys. I think one is... Wow, there's a lot of detail, a lot of things on this, so I'm gonna... Hopefully... Be able to show you everything here guys. Okay, so let's look like some... some hit, um... Well actually, I'm not sure, they look like some grenades, some other bits to weapons. That looks like it's a part of a multi multi-weapon. I think that could be the shield arm over on that side. Uh, that's a body. That's a body. These are legs. There's this. Uh, do you know what? If I didn't have the uh, think guide of how to build this, this would be slightly imitate, um, intimidating to me if I'm honest. Guys, there must be shoulder bits. That looks like a bit around the head. There is one of the heads. Let's zoom in just a little bit more for you guys. You can see sort of some more weapons, some legs. There's uh, some body parts that you can use. You can either be, make them female or male options. It looks like they're LAS rifles to me, but they could be auto. Yeah, I think they're more like LAS. That looks like a chess piece, or could be a part of one of the shields. I think it's more likely part of one of the shields. This looks like a helmet. That could be another head bit, but of a helmet. Heads with that kind of spidery kind of look to them. Some more heads some legs does look very different to the other packs if I'm being honest which is kind of cool because it does give them a little bit more of their own flavor now that looks like some form of axe but that's might as another bit added to it I'm not 100% sure so, just make more along here. so there seems to be more more weapons along there some more shoulder bits so some more arms some legs sorry some more bodies some other parts of weapons. Now that that could be the red cannon. It probably is. Yep, it's probably the red cannon. And some more legs there. So there's some the other half. Some tail bits. Another part that could be a plasma gun. If I'm being honest, it does look plasma to me. Yeah. So 
we're making our way sort of back up. Now I'm not sure if it's two of the same exact same sprues or is it different? Actually it looks like it's two of the same sprues. Okay. So well that's the unboxing of the Van Sar gang. Hopefully you guys can see the model bits. Now let's take a quick look at the card. Sorry you guys. I haven't I need to do these cards what I've got for the Orlox as well. I should have done that with the Orlock video. So let's quickly just open this up. I maybe I'll do a video of the Orlocks and the Goths and the female gang. I never say their name right, so so let's take a good look look on the inside. So you got send this over for a minute. So you got the blank cards, like the blood bolt. Get some player cards, but there's not as many as in the blood bolt. Then let's try these are tactic cards. Let's see if there's anything that specifically says. No, there isn't. So I'm not going to, I don't want to look at everything guys, because one I don't want to get into trouble. But let's just take a quick look at this one. Auto Healer. Play this card at the start of any phase. Choose a seriously wounded fighter. Rather than roll at the injury dice, you can choose to have the, the fighter suffer a flesh wound and become pinned. Now that's not too bad. That is a Vansar only tactic card. Okay, so let's... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 Vansar tactic cards. 12 actually, I forgot the one I just put down there. So let's just quickly grab another one. Uh, one I can probably uh, read. No, that's definitely not one I can read. Um, oh, I'm going to go for Comms Blast. Okay, Comms Blast. Play at the start of any turn. For this round, your gang leader can make a rally action for for Broken Warriors anywhere on the board in addition to their leadership. Oh, right, so basically, that's kind of cool. Well, I do like that. But again, there are 12 of them, guys. Then you also get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 basic uh, tactic cards. The first one is Combat Drugs. That sounds familiar. Play when a fighter makes a melee attack. During, during his turn, this fighter gains 3D additional attacks. However, should the fighter gain the four uh, free attacks, he will automatically suffer a flesh wound at the end of the... Oh, so he basically becomes completely mad. Uh, I'm going to choose this one. And stomp, slump. Play at the start of your turn. Immediately remove three barricades from your of your choice from anywhere on the board. Oh wow. That seems kinda cool. You got something called Nerve Steel as well. Rapid fire. That's interesting. Fall back. Hmm. Okay guys. So that's actually my video of the Vansar Vansar gang. And their play, uh, special cards. I'm hopefully gonna play a game of Necromunda. I haven't played yet. I am looking forward to trying. I have been talking to a couple of people. People seem interested. It's just, unfortunately, one of the guys that I, will, I want to play, I would like to have a game with, I'm also playing Arkham Horror with, so we are stuck just doing that really at this minute. I don't mean stuck, it's actually much, it's a lot of fun for me to do. Also guys, you will need, if you want to play the Van Sars, you will need this book. It comes with a load more other stuff in it as well. It's quite thick compared to uh, the other two. So that, that made me smile, made me happy. Alright guys, uh, I hope you've liked this video. Also, I apologise for the amount of uh, computer game stuff I've been doing recently. But at the same time, the computer game stuff is much more easier for me to do at this second. Um, the dog has been very, very well behaved at this minute. But at the same time, it's not always the case. And so it's not always easy for me to do this. So, uh, I am going to be continuing my um, unboxing videos. It's also, I need to be a little bit more careful on how much I'm spending at this second. So, yeah because a lot of things are happening this minute and I'm really looking forward to coming out so yeah alright guys I hope you're all having a good day if you like this video please click like if you'd like to subscribe please do also guys if you do subscribe you'll be helping on the road to 1000 hit that notification button just in case you uh, enjoy computer games that I'm playing or maybe you're enjoying the um, unboxings it all helps me guys it all, it all goes towards you know that end goal of mine now which is a thousand which was has changed from 550 which I wanted to be at the end of this year anyway guys thank you for watching thank you for uh, staying to the end and I hope you'll have a good day 
and goodbye.